Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about the topic of Mission Moses. This is one of the questions that we have asked in the past. We have asked the question of 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 the question kula hila nguishe kaya karo nyonga nta mkuma nyonga kaya wawira nyo mugabe kaya na atulumu chitweke shimpa mwe nechi 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 zimbe chaga songo wawira nyo mugabe wawakole minister of culture amwena tourism wali yende wajiza wakuku renovate nge chitweke shi kulewa ngu chagu maho okuchari lechiri kujira nabali wawari huwa nabali jari yari wajiza wajiza kurambula wawene wa manyangu kabu liyo bugabe bugabe mkwale mwenye tuwashawa mwenye mwenye tejerize tuzako wa isaho bjinji 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 mnonga ya yu kwa atene na no bugabe bugabe mkwale na nebi kwa atene na kalicha imi mutakaru gaho mwenye mwenye tejerize We are in Western Uganda today. We are in Ankole. Today we are in a place in Bar is called Kamukuzi, uh, in Bar district. And uh, this place, uh, this is where we have the Ankole Kingdom or the palace in Kamukuzi. Where I'm standing right now, I'm on the road side. On this side, uh, there is what we call the Mugaba Palace uh, in Western Uganda, Ankole. As you see this place here, where I'm going to be showing you, uh, this is where the history of Ankole Kingdom began, in short. Uh, where you see this place, as you can see it, I'm going to be showing you everything and everything. Uh, it's located in Kamakuzimbara district, uh, the Mugaba Palace. Uh, this place was formerly known as Akalo Kalunji, uh, and this kingdom was formed up in, 90, uh, in the 15th century. Uh, back in the days and then it became to be Ankole Kingdom after they signed uh, the Ankole Agreement in October 20, uh, 1901 in 1901 so in that time uh, that's when uh, they had to, to sign the agreement and they add on some more kingdoms other kingdoms of Igara, Abuheju and some parts of Mporo to make it Ankole so as of today the kingdom was abolished in 1967 but before it was abolished uh, this place had a lot of history as of today what i'm going to be showing you i'm going to be taking you through show you everything the way it is and what's happening here but of what i'm speaking uh, this place is being is under renovation uh, by the ministry of tourism uh, in uganda uh, the government passed some money so that they can revolve the place in order to keep the uh, culture and uh, culture and all the norms of Western Uganda when they're still alive. As you can see, uh, this place is under innovation. Uh, the whole the, the palace, uh, they're, they're trying to innovate so they can keep uh, the culture and everything in place. Uh, so the other side, uh, that's where we're having the first gate. Uh, the, that was the gate that was built up uh, in uh, the back in the days, uh, in, 19, uh, 19, in the 90s. Uh, the other place there, 1901, uh, that's where the, that gate was constructed before. So that's the old gate. As of here, this is the new gate, whereby they're trying to make, uh, we're going to be having the entrance and the exit. And this place, as you can see, it has uh, three main gates. Apart from this one, we have another on the other side. Another on the other side, I will be showing you from this side to the other side. So I'm standing at right here. Uh, this is the main gate. All this was the main gate that was used back in the days. Uh, before the renovation of the palace, uh, we have in the other gate, it's a new gate, but this one, as you can see it here, it was the old gate, the main entrance uh, to the palace. As you can see, uh, this was the old gate. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the new one after renovation, but as before, this was the main entrance to the palace. I'm going to be taking you inside. So this were, uh, this, this were inside here. This is where the guys used to stay when they are guarding the gate, uh, this, uh, this side. Uh, plus the other side, as you can see, uh, this is, they used to be here when guarding the gate. They used to stay in these two, uh, the, these two, these two rooms, the other one there and this one. Uh, this one is the main entrance. The old gate, uh, this one is, 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 is over, it's old, it's more than like 600 years back old. Because when you try to check very well in the history, uh, this kingdom has been existed for over 600 years. So this was the old gate that was used as the main entrance. It's going to be here, then renovate it, so it can be here as a twice attraction, as you can see right here. It's going to be as the same, so I'm going to be taking you through uh, to, to the other gate, uh, the, the new gate. 
and the new fence as you can see right here uh, this is as you can see here uh, someone might want to know that what is happening here or what what is the meaning of these ones as you can see here uh, this is a picture of a cow because you see the longhorn cattle uh, in western uganda in the kingdom uh, we have what we call the longhorn cattle and those represent the, 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 the most important things almost most animals in western uganda because they represent the culture as you can see these ones here these ones represent uh, the longhorn cattle of ankole and these ones you can see here this the banana leaves as you can see for banana partitions uh, this is one of the uh, the, the, the most economical thing that we're having here so people and this i would say it's uh, something that we eat all the cultural food that we're having here at matoke uh, as you can see uh, this one represents matoke as i will be sure this one as you can see them here these are banana branches uh, they represent matoke uh that's something that people have in western uganda whereby they sell it and earn money but also they can't serve any meal without having matoke on them or, 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 or on like, whether having matoke you how they look and this fence is over 860 meters almost a kilometer when you round it very well it covers uh, the, the distance that it covers we're rounding the palace all the palace fencing is over 860 uh, meters almost a kilometer so as you can see the other side we are going we're going to uh, going step by step on the other side that's uh, the main gate the new main gate but before this was the one that i showed you this is uh, the new gate uh, that has been built because uh, uh, this place is under renovation uh, the mugabe pa the, the, the uh, mugaba palace as you can see here there are two gates the entrance one is the other one as of here is the exit one so i'm going to be taking you inside uh, to see and check how things are going but i was talking to someone they told me that this place they are trying to renovate it but they're going to leave everything in place as it was before uh, back in the days they're not changing anything the buildings are staying at the same as they used to be as before the only thing they're doing is renovate it as i'm taking you through uh, this is the place i think you won't mind uh the people that are working inside here um uh, it's under renovation and uh, it's under the ministry of tourism uh uganda as you can see the other ones there as you can see this is inside uh, this is the palace uh, the mugaba palace uh, as i say the, the reason why it's called mugaba they say that the, 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 the king or mugabe i uh, use i uh, used to, to 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 give people things uh the way the way is isn't why it's called mugaba palace it's because that mugabe used to call people and gift them with things uh whereby used to give them cows and out of things land as you can see so we're here i'm going to be taking you through to the buildings to know what they mean and what are they doing as you can see right there those are the main buildings in the palace are uh, there you can see there here all of this but i'm taking you through to see what's happening so we're starting from there we're going to start from the other side are uh, coming through to this side and see what's going to happen we are the bachelor in tv make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel a like and share we are having a short documentary about the kingdom of ankole uh, this kingdom has been existence for over 600 years and it's considered to be one of the oldest kingdoms in uganda we are still on bachelor in tv uh, we now we are inside the palace uh, the mgaba palace as you can see right there uh, that's uh, the main palace i belong to king gasonga uh, back in the days that one that you see here is the main palace it's the main building the main palace as you could see here so this is where we are going uh, first i'm going to be showing you how it is uh, this is the main palace uh, that that was built up by king gasyonga uh, the son to king kahaya you we are the bachelor line tv we are having something new coming as you can see me here i'm on an on location whereby i'm going to be giving you something new if you not haven't subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you subscribe like share and comment we are having something new coming it's about western uganda Western Uganda has a lot of historical things and historical events. People don't know about this place. Um, Bash, we are the Bash Line TV. We are having something new coming. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, that this place has three gates. At the other side, as you could see that way, the right way there, uh, that's where we're having the, uh, the second gate. Uh, from the main gate, we're having another gate that side, as you could see there. It's the mega. Then this is uh, the main palace, the main Mugaba palace, uh, the main building. Uh, it's this one. It's other innovation. As I'll be showing you the before and after, uh, before before it was renovated, uh, the way it used to be, uh, and how it is right now. Uh, this was a uh, uh, King Gasonga's palace, as you can see here. But before coming here, he came from the other side. There are some other buildings right there. I'm showing the oldest buildings here. The other side there. That's why he used to be before a uh, building. This one. So from the other side, 
he came from there to this one and this one became the main part as you can see it right now it's under innovation uh, i would like to give the way to minister of tourism uh, for trying very hard so that i could make uh, the culture uh, stay alive in western uganda even though the kingdom was abolished as i'll be giving you taking you through to things of what happened this is what happened back in 1966 but as of today this is at uh, the main place as i'm taking you through in between the other side this is the other side where they came from the first buildings were there, the oldest buildings on the other side while they're from the side coming to this side uh, these ones here as you can see them these were the, the, the palace guard quarters they used to stay here the palace guards they used to guard the palace uh those were for we are used to be like the heads of security the responsible for, for, for guarding this palace they used to stay in these quarters you can see them uh the guards used to sleep here you see they're, they're old because they're from the back in the days uh we are here we're trying to show people what's happening and what happened and what's going to happen after renovating this place because we're hoping people from western uganda some of them they don't know that they're having such places in their area they don't know that they're having they used to have a kingdom all that palace is still there but people never knew about these places but we want to show people what's happening so from the main uh, from the main palace at the side uh the gashonga uh, the gashonga building to this place uh now here where we are uh, this was called kahaya's uh, palace uh, before uh, this was one of the oldest ones by the way uh, before gashonga moved from here uh, he, gashonga was a son to kahaya and king kahaya used to stay in this palace uh, plus all the princes they used to stay here these were the king's quarters uh, then uh, before gashonga go he first stayed in this one before building the other that i showed you there at uh, the main one as you can see here this is the kahaya's palace here this was called this called the mugara palace it's one of the oldest buildings in this place uh, this place belonged to uh, king kahaya this was his palace before kahaya was the father uh, to gashonga before gashonga became king kahaya was the king and he used to stay here with the princess uh the, the, the people of the royal family they used to stay here this was his quarters as uh, before back in the days uh then from here, uh, Prince G uh, King Gashonga first stayed in these quarters before going to the other palace, uh, the other main palace where they is the other palace uh, back in the days. So as we hear, this place, before when, when King Kahaya left this place, uh, King Gashonga and built the other place there, this place was left to the visitors and people who used to come and visit. These were the loyal quarters, all the guests, uh, uh, the, the guest quarters, whereby kings from other countries, when they used to come and visit the Ankole kingdom, they used to sleep in these quarters, as you could see here, because the king already left and went to the other main place that I showed you there before. Uh, this uh, Kahaya palace was left to the visitors who came from outside countries and the kings from other, uh, other countries who used to come and visit the Ankole. This is where they used to sleep after King Gashonga moving from here to the other main palace. This one was left for the visitors. They used to come from outside countries. But as you can see, people never knew about these places. This one here is one of the oldest buildings in this place. As you can see, this place is under renovation, but they're not changing anything. Things are staying as the way they used to be. As before, back in the 80s and 90s, this is how it used to be, and they're not going to change anything because i was talking to someone uh who is under uh, who is always uh, in charge of uh, the innovation and she told me that this place they're not going to change anything it's going to stay the way it is and it's going to be used as a tourist attraction but they're going to, to put everything back in place that it used to be though the kingdom was abolished but the kaishan history still exists we are still on bachelor line tv from the other side, uh, the main palace, the Mugawa palace, uh, all well known as uh, the Gashonga palace, the first one there. Then to Kahaya, a palace. Uh, Kahaya was the king, was the father to uh, to King Gashonga. Uh, this was these quarters before all the oldest buildings. From there, we are here at what we call the Milik House. As you can see right here, uh, this is uh, the Milik House. Someone would like to know what is the Milik House? Uh, this is where they used to keep uh, the, the calabashes, where they used to keep Milik uh, for the kings and visitors. Oh, what I would say, the, uh, what I would call this and these days, what they call soft drinks. They were used to be kept here. Mostly, milk was kept here. Milik uh, was one of the, 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 the most important things in Ankole, as you can see here. So this was the house where they used to keep uh, what, what they call Ebianzi. Uh, in Ankole, uh, in the language, uh, they call them Ebianzi. Ebianzi Yamate, they used to keep milk in those things. Uh, uh, the Kalabasha, I will be showing you. I'll be showing you pictures of how they look and what's kept there. So this was the milk house where they used to keep the milk for the king and the visitors. So these are the things that were kept here for the milk, for the purpose of keeping milk, uh, save for the kings, visitors, and other occasions in the palace. So from here, 
as you can see you're seeing the other place of you're seeing a very good view of western uganda this is a view of mbara because this place was found in Bara, at uh, the main palace it is in Bara, located in Bara, western uganda uh when you're from the other side of kampala from kampala to masaka it's mbara from kabale in tungamo it's Mbara, from Isinjiro, it's Mbara, and those, all those places of Isinjiro and Tungamo, they are part of this kingdom. Shema, Kabohe, Bushen, Ishaka, Buheju, they are part of this kingdom. As you can see right there, this has the view of Mbara city. As you see this place, uh, is, uh, this place was put on the raised land. Uh, as you can see right there, that's the view of the Mbara city, the buildings, people are really in those places. That used to be the land of the kingdom, as you can see. So from here, as you can see right there, that's through Halo. The view is very nice, as you can see. Uh, this place, uh, people are very in back in the days. Because uh, when you see this place, uh, you can see that's through Halo. Uh, that's that side of Andrews, as you can see. Andrews. And right there. That's where right there, the right. I'm going to be taking you down there to check uh, what we call the uh, it's called the lake view right now as present day called lake view, but back in the days it was called a Chianja uh, or the uh, the 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 the, 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 uh, uh, the lake of the king uh, the for the kings of Ankole. When they used to want to refresh, they used to go down to that place uh, at lake view. I'm going to be showing you a Kayanja Komugabe. Uh, I'm going to be taking you down there and you see uh, the place how it looks. Whenever they wanted to refresh, they used to go there. And refresh from there, and that's how it probably the name of calling it Akayanja Komugabe. We are still the Basho Line TV. I'm having uh, my, my, my cock or my the person behind the camera, uh, Mr. Moses. Uh, as you can see right here, the other one is the main palace, uh, Gashonga Palace, the first one there, and the second one, uh, the Kahaya Palace. But in between those small ones, there are the quarters for the palace guards uh, from Gashonga Palace uh, to Kahaya Palace to the Milik House. But as of now where I'm standing here, this is what we call the drum house. Or in the language, in Angkori language, it's called the Bajendana house. It's all the main buildings are in the Mugaba Palace. So now we are at the drum house. In Runyankole, it might be called Enjuya Bajendana. Whereby in, uh, uh, in Runyankole, the drum means Bajendana. Uh, so this is the house of the drum. Or, so if you see this place here, every king... Or if you had access to this building, that meant that you were the king. With no access to this house, with no drum, that means there was no king. As you can see right here, so this place, if the drum wasn't there, that means the king wasn't there. So this was called the drum house, and the house, uh, the, the drum that I talk about, the Bajendana, used to be, uh, used to be by the kings. It used to represent, whenever you saw the drum that was there inside, and the king had access to it, that means the kingdom had a king. If at all the king wasn't there, the drum wasn't there. Someone might ask him or herself, what does that mean, the chairman up there? That chairman, when we, we try to check the well at uh, this place, uh, <coughs> when the drum was inside here, sorry, uh, there used to be fire inside this house. Uh, this fire has to be, uh, like, had to be on 24-7 uh, from January to December every year. And there, there used to be a lady that had to take care of that fire so that fire couldn't go off because that, that it was what had to be inside. Uh, to, to make sure that that fire never goes off because you see here this is the drum house inside it's under renovation as you can see uh, this is the drum house and the drum used to be there and this side here there used to be a lady who used to take care of this fire this is a chumuni as you can see it here it's a chumuni and this said to be fire from this place had to be on the fire had never like the fire couldn't go off it had to be on from january to december okay this is where the drum used to be, where the right spot I'm standing in, the drum for the king used to be here. That drum used to represent, if the drum wasn't there, that means the kingdom had no king. If the drum is there, that means the king is there. So the drum used to be here, where I'm standing in this spot. And right there is the chumun. That chumun had to be having fire from January to December. This place used to have a lady. Someone asked, how did they manage the fire to be on? day by day this place used to have someone taking care of it a lady they used to be taking care of the fire that the fire couldn't go off the fire used to be from here as you can see this is the chimney they used to insert the firewood and the woods from here so the fire used to be inside here as you can see right there inside it used to be here so and uh, this place is the chimney because it's built inside uh, the, 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 the drum house the drum used to be here as you can see as i told you here the fire used to be there. So someone might ask him or herself, what was the drum for? The drum represented the kingship of Ankole. As you can see, if the drum is there, that means the kingdom was there. If the drum wasn't, that means there was no kingdom. So the drum is to represent the kingship 
of the Ankole Kingdom, or the Obugabe Wankole, as uh, they, they will say in Nyankole, uh, the, 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 the kingdom of is called Obugabe Wankole because the ruler used to be called Obugabe. Obugabe. So, as you can see, the room used to be here. So, from here, I'm going to take you to the royal tombs uh, where King Kahaya Gasyonga and King, uh, Prince, uh, King Charles Warije where they were buried at the burial site of the Ankole Kingdom. Uh, it's found in Kokonjeru. We are still giving you uh, the history of Ankole Kingdom or Ogabe Wankore. Uh, as you can see, I've been showing you all the gates. We are having three gates. Uh, the main gate there and the other gate uh, in the left, uh, the left of the other main palace. Uh, then at the drum house, we are having another gate. Uh, this is the third gate, as you can see right there. That's the third gate. We are having the first one there the second and then the third gate you could see right there up there uh, that's andrews here it's kamukuzi andrews and then the side was ruharo that this is the third gate as i've told you so from here i'm taking you to a lake view uh akayanja kumgabe uh, the, the king's lake and uh, where there is refresh from then from there i'll be taking you to the royal tombs uh, in kokonjo that's where they're located and that's where the last uh, five kings were buried We are Bachelor Line TV. We are still on the journey of finding out this sort of Ankole Kingdom. We are in Ankole, home of the Longhorn Cattles, home of beauty. As you can see right here, as I told you, um, I talked you to the Paris, but as of here today, I'm here at Lakeview. Uh, this is where it's, it's, people usually call it uh, Akayanja Komugabe, or the Lake of the King, or the King's Lake. As you can see right there, the king used to come all the way from the palace up there in Kamkuzi. To this place to refresh up on themselves. I collect you down here. As you can see, people are down here. Some are washing their motorbikes from here. Some are swimming on the other side. Some are washing beyond the, the, the waters. That side. There, there's a hotel called Lakeview. And this whole land belongs to the kingdom of Ankole, a home of uh, long hold cattle. As you see right here, as you see right here, they're they swimming, they're enjoying. As you see down there. So, this is the King's Lake. If you come to Ankole and you fail to come to this place, then you would have missed a lot. Uh, this is the King's Lake, as you can see here. We are still the Bachelor Line TV. We are happy to bring you this document about Western Uganda, about the Ankole Kingdom, the great, great, great Ankole Kingdom. People are, people are there. The other side, the, 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 the ducks are swimming through the other side. There are their birds that are on the water. Uh, this, this place inhabits a lot of things, from birds. Uh, to, to other things, to other living things, the amphibians always in the water because there is fish here, people usually come and fish from here they swim from here, they get water for domestic use from here uh, swimming, they are doing everything from here so, we are happy to bring you everything we are the Bachelor Line TV I think this is the last part that we have to be showing you we have reached to some parts and we have captured some of the things that belong to the Kingdom of Ankole as you see the King's Lake, people are enjoying, the boys are enjoying their lives, the birds are swimming. So we are here and we are at the end of our journey, today's journey actually, because we're still having more coming in. But this is today's journey, we're ending it from here at the King's Lake, at Lake View. This place as you're seeing it here, we are the Bachelor Line TV. If you want to support us in any way, you can reach us, the numbers will be there uh, on our resume box before down. You can reach us on uh, Bachelor Line TV Facebook, Bachelor Line TV Twitter, Bachelor Line TV Instagram, Bachelor Line TV WhatsApp, everywhere, everywhere. We are having on Bachelor Line TV, everywhere, everywhere. So if you want to support us in any way, we shall give you our numbers referring on the screen down there before. If you want to reach us on anything, you can call us, you can text us everywhere, you can email us on everything. If you want to support us on anything, our numbers are down there. You can be giving us anything that you have. We are the Bachelor in TV.
are still the Bachelor in TV. We are still on our journey exploring the history of Ankole Kingdom or Obugabe Wankole. As I've told you, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment on our YouTube channel. So, for that, so we came all the way from the palace uh, down there in Kamkuzi. Now we are in Kokonjeru. And Kokonjeru, this is the place where the royal tombs are found. All this is the burial ground for the people from the royal family or from the lineage of the kings or the princess and the princesses. Uh, this is the place where they were buried. So this is the place, as you could see inside here, these are the Ankole royal tombs. Uh, as you can see, we, we didn't get the access uh, to go inside because when we came last time here to, uh, to ask some people, they were like, the place is always open. But of today of surprise to come and check that uh, the place was closed. But that's not a problem. I was too sure I wanted to show you from here. Uh, this is the house, as you can see it here. Uh, it has uh, four sections inside. Uh, right here on this side, I would say if I'm standing, if I'm standing here, on my left side here, uh, this place inside this place has three kings. Uh, that means that's a uh, uh, Charles Warije. Uh, we have uh, Suleiman uh, Kahaya, and we're having Gasonga. So we are here. I'm standing here. This is at uh, the left side. Uh, so inside here, there are four people, uh, three kings and a princess. I could see here right here inside, uh, from here, from the blockage of the window. I uh, see this place, uh, there is uh, uh, Edith, uh, Edith Kanganga, uh, Wobgabe Wakahaya II. Uh, that means this one, uh, Edith was a princess, uh, that's why she was in the lineage of the kings. That's why she was buried here inside uh, this, uh, the royal tombs, I could see right here. That's why Edith was buried here, because she's a princess, uh, maybe a daughter to King Kahaya uh, too. Then as you go right here on the right side, <coughs> uh, right, you see the door is closed, and you see here on this side, and the right side, if I try to check here, I see here there is, uh, uh, this is Omogare Chais, Rutahawa Gasyonga, uh, he lived from 1945 uh, up to 1967, and he was born in 1910. And he died, uh, he died in 19, he died in 1982. So here, this is uh, Charis, uh, this is Charis Gasyonga Rutahaba, to Omugabe Wankole, uh, this is the side. So you could go from this side, uh, from here, uh, this, uh, when you go this side, these people are part of the family, that's why they're, they're, they're buried here. But inside, they are in the lineage of kings, and those, uh, some of these ones, the, all of them inside, they are kings. So, so here, uh, this side of uh, this side, this is the right side. When I'm standing like this, this is the place where they bury princesses uh, from the royal palace, as you could see right here. All these tombs are for the princesses of Ankole, as you could see. The princesses of Ankole, uh, some of them are old. You cannot see the the, 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 the initials that they are already gone. As you could see right here, these are the royal tombs, and this these are for the princess. This side is for the princesses, and we come. We were in the front side. Now we are in the back side of this place. As you could see right here, uh, when you check right here, we are having uh, uh, this place inside. Uh, this side and uh, the back side, we see there is uh, uh, there is uh, um, there is uh, the body of Edward uh, Solomon Kahaya. Uh, some some of them I call him Suleiman. That's why he's called Solomon. Uh, Solomon Kahaya. Uh, you see the place is closed, but I'm trying to get the information to you because I want to leave things on the way. So if I, I try to, to, to look into inside here, I see uh, this is uh, this side is a tomb for Edward Solomon Kahaya II, Omugabe of Ankole, born in uh, 1884, and he died uh, in 1944. So this side is for Solomon Kahaya II. These are the real tombs of Ankole, Omugabe uh, of Ankole. These are the real tombs. Uh, this is, you see inside, this is for Solomon. Uh, the other side, as you see down there, I'll be taking you. That side is for the princess of uh, the, the princess. The other side is for the princess. So here inside, uh, we could look inside. This one is for John Patrick Warije in Tare, Omugabe Wankole. He was born uh, on 10th uh, January. He's a Capricorn. Uh, he was born in uh, uh, 1940, as you could see inside. And he died on 14th October uh, 2011. Uh, when we saw, this was the 27th Kings of Ankole. He was the last one. Uh, and we need to to the history of this one of this one of Prince Charles Marije. Uh, back in the days he was an ambassador of Uganda to West Germany. Uh, I'll, I'll be taking you through that information later. But as we continue from here, as you see right there, this side now. Uh, this side uh, is for the is for the princess. Uh, when you see here this is uh, Prince Patrick Rohinda was logically murdered by the uh, regime of Idamin Dada around 23 December 1972 and his body was never discovered. 
He was born in October uh, 19, uh, 19, 1944. May so rest in peace. So this one, he was killed in the regime of Idamin in 1972, and his body was never recovered. But they tried to put the, uh, 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 a place whereby he can be remembered, though his body wasn't found. And his name is Prince Patrick Rohinda. As you can see right here, he was murdered uh, in the regime of Idamin around 23rd December 1972. From here, these are the princes, the thumbs of the princess. Here now, we are having, uh, the, the, having the Prince uh, Frederick. Uh, he was born on 23rd May 1952 and died on 8th September 1981 in World Triangle as a commander in the NRA. He was a commander in the army and he, he died uh, in, on 28th September 1981, uh, Prince Frederick. As we continue from here, you see these ones, some of them are old, uh, the initials are already, like you cannot read the initials, because you see from the other back from the days, uh, some of them are old. As you could see, the rent renovate some. So this side, this is where the princes are buried. The other side, where the princes are buried. And this side, this side, this is where the kings are buried. The only difference is that there is one lady that was buried inside there, and she's a princess. Uh, she's a princess, a princess Edith, a Kahaya. So we are still on the Bachelor Line TV. We are on a journey of discovering on the remaining history of the Ankoli Kingdom. So of today, uh, some people would be, uh, would be like, would be talking about Ankole. Uh, Ankole Kingdom was formerly known as Akaroka Runji. Uh, Akaroka Runji is a word in Ankole, which means uh, a place which is good. But it came to be Ankole Kingdom, the one that we're talking about today. Ankole Kingdom. Uh, it was that time of uh, 19, 1901. Uh, that's when they signed the Ankole Agreement. And the Ankole Kingdom went to uh, what we call the British Protectorate. It was protected under the British, uh, the British government of that time. So to make, to make it Ankole, uh, the, great, the great Ankole Kingdom, they had to, to, to sign the agreement and add on uh, some kingdoms of Uheju, Shema, Igala, and some parts of Mpororo. So, and that made Ankole uh, the biggest one of the biggest kingdoms in, in Uganda because that made it be Ankole at large because they had to add on some other kingdoms from the western uh, whereby they added on the kingdoms that I talked about. And so, uh, by later alone, uh, the kingdom was ruled by many kings. As I'm going to be showing, you, I have a list uh, here. I have a list of kings of uh, the Wagabe of Ankole. I'm going to be going through, but mostly I'll talk about those who were famous. And uh, when it became Ankole, by that time there was a uh, Kahaya II, uh, Gasyonga, and Prince Chari and King Charles Barije. Uh, by that time in 1901, it was by the time of Kahaya. So, and this kingdom of Ankole, uh, some people may wonder what happened to the kingdom. Uh, the kingdom was in existence. Not until it was abolished in 1966. By that time, Uganda was ruled by President Kawenkilmi Tonobote. He was the president of the Republic of Uganda. And the kingdoms were abolished at that time. All the kingdoms in Uganda, whereby what that we say, Uganda, Bunyoro, Tolo, they were all abolished. But again, by that time, when the kings were abolished, uh, uh, there came uh, the government, uh, president of Idi Amin. By that time, Prince Charis Agasyonga uh, was uh, the king, and then by that time, uh, Charis uh, uh, Jabarije was a prince. Then he became a king. But before he became a king, uh, he was uh, he he started from England. Uh, I will talk about his story here because I'm having a list. Over the the Wagabe of Ankole, those were kings of Ankole, uh, starting from uh, uh, 1430. Uh, that was Ruhinda. He went from 1430 uh, to uh, 1446. Uh, then we have Nkuba. He ruled from 1446 uh, to 1475. Then we had Nyakika. Uh, he ruled from 1475 to 1503. Then we had Nyabgarobwela and Tare uh, from 1503 to 1531. Nyabgarobwela has a history. Uh, by, by his rule, uh, remember in, 19, uh, in 1520 AD, there happened something. Uh, it was happened in the other side of uh, Bihare. There's, uh, what, there's something happened. So I'll give you the, the, the history of Nyabgaro He has a white history that I'm talking about. But I was going to the list of the, 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 the kings of Ankole. Uh, we are having uh, Rushango. He ruled from 1531 uh, to 1556. Then we had in Tare, Rugwejejera. He ruled from 1559 to 1587. Then we had in Tare 3, Rugamba, he ruled from 1587 uh, to uh, 1587 to 1615. 
And then we had uh, Kasasra, he ruled from 1615 to 1640, uh, 1643. Then we had Chitera, he ruled from 14, uh, 1643 to 1671. He was joint ruler with uh, Kamonje. Then Kamonje uh, from 1643 to, six, uh, to 1671. Then we continue, we had uh, Marindi, he ruled from uh, 1671 to 1699. Then we had in Tari, in Tari the fifth, he ruled from uh, uh, ruled from uh, uh, from uh, ninety uh, from sixteen sixteen ninety nine to seventeen uh, twenty seven. Then we had Michwa, he ruled from seventeen twenty seven to seventeen fifty five. Then we had uh, so here we are having the the jointed four rulers. The ruled from uh, seven seventeen fifty five to eighty three. Uh, we had. Uh, Karera one, we had uh, Ka, we had Kahaya one, then we had uh, Kahera one, uh, Kayunga, then we have Kahaya one, then we have the three jointed rulers from 1783. Yunga, we he ruled from uh, 1811 to 1839. He ruled jointed ruler with Kashonga one, then Kashonga one from 1811 to 1839. And again, we had uh, Ntale five from 1867 to 1895. That's when the monarch was first under the British protectorate in 18, 1896. So by that time we had Kahaya II, he ruled from 1895 to, eight, to 1944. Then we had Gashonga II, he ruled from 1944 to 8th September 1967. That's when the monarch was abolished. By that time, the president of Uganda was Dr. Mito Nobote Kawenkene. Then in Tale, in Tale, this was John Barije in Tale. He was, uh, he, was uh, he, he was a king from 1993, uh, uh, 19, 19, uh, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, the chiefs in Yankore, those are Abakuru Ebyanga, they used to be the heads of the countries, uh, the counties. Those are, we had Kashari, Isinjiro, Ruampara, Nyaushozi, Ibanda, Shema, Nakajera. Uh, those were the countries that are ruled by chiefs, Bakuru Ebyanga. So when they're organizing the country, some of those places were made into administrative units. Those are districts uh, by President Idamin Dada. And those districts are Wesheni, Ibanda, Kashari, Mbarara, Ntungamu, Shema, and Isinjo. When they were organizing the country by Idi Amin, those countries were made into administrative units to the districts, from being the, the, the countries of a kingdom to districts. But before that, uh, uh, the uh, King Gashonga, and uh, by that time, uh, 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 the other late king, uh, Prince Karis Warije, he was a prince, they talked, uh, they, they said publicly, they announced to President Idi Amin that the, 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 the kingdom of Ankole shouldn't be restored publicly. To this end, it was never restored. And then we came into, uh, when uh, President Museven came into power and restored all the kingdoms of Tolo, Bunyoro, Uganda, Ankole was never restored. And the President said, it is upon the people of Ankole to decide whether they want their kingdom back or not. So things are coming. That's why we're having uh, in Ankole, the Prime Minister, the most famous Prime Minister in the Ankole Kingdom. He was called Enganzi of Ankole Kingdom. He was called Mbaguta. He was one of the most famous prime ministers this kingdom ever had. They are having money, many things that were named behind him. As I told you in Mbaguta City, having a city, Mbaguta Street. We are having a hall at the most famous old schools in uh, Western Uganda. In the Ankole Kingdom, it's called Mbaguta High. They are having a hall called Mbaguta Hall. And even we have trees that, we are, that came on his ela, they are called Mkijana Mbaguta, which means they came with Mbaguta, they came on his ela when he was the Prime Minister. And they said this to be, he went on planting them on all sides from outside the kingdom and coming to the kingdom. Uh, it was, uh, they were planted because he wanted people to be having shade when they are having, for, moving from kingdoms of Igara, the, the kingdom of Ankole, whereby when they get tired on the roadside, they would, chi, they, they would, they would go and have a comfort zone of resting in shade under those trees. Those are called Kijana Baguta. So on the next episode of Ankole Kingdom, I'll be visiting uh, the family or oh, where well, he's, uh, he's uh, uh, the, the, the Prime Minister uh, Kijana Baguta, uh, the man himself, where he was buried. I'll be taking you to that place. From here, as I told you now, we shall be giving you more. We are still having more about Western Uganda. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment.